Hello, welcome to the Google Sheets course where we will be building easy to use automated invoicing system in Google Sheets. We'll split this course into multiple parts. This is the introduction video. Here I'm gonna show you how this tool works. So the core idea that user don't need to touch final invoice, so no need to edit the recipient information, products data, invoice number or dates or something else. So all this information will be generated automatically from other sheets. So let me show you how it works. In this document you can see that we have different tabs dedicated to specific part of the invoice. So let's start from the settings. Here we are specifying data related to our company and invoice format settings. We have company details, uh, we can change the logo, add some specific text to our document, then currency, currency format, date format, and invoice format, invoice number format. Also we have third-party integration details. We need this in order to send invoice emails to our customers directly from this tool by clicking invoicing and send invoice email. Okay, let's go next. Here we've got customers. Here we can save our customer details. ID should be unique value because we will use it when creating specific invoice. Email address will be used to send emails with invoice right from these Google Sheets. All the add other data will be automatically imported to the invoice. What's important to mention that empty columns will be skipped and no empty rows will, will be in our invoice. Okay, next we have invoice data. Here we can select our customer, specify the number of uh, invoice, invoice date, due date, and VAT rate. Below rows is shown for the information purpose, we don't need to do anything with it. Okay, good. Now let's add some products to our invoice. So the cool part about the products that we don't need to edit or delete the previous product from previous invoices. For example, if we need to add new products for new invoice, we simply append them to this document. Let me show you. Uh, let's have some cakes for 9.66, then milkshake 2.45.99. So we have two products and we want to include them in invoice number two. So we just simply add the number of the invoice. So next time when we will change the invoice number, it will automatically take these products from this tab and add include it to our invoice here. So, as you can see, this is the, our final invoice. So, let me demonstrate to you how it will change. So, we see that the products are from the invoice number one. And if we change the invoice to number two, it automatically takes the cake and milkshake that we, we've just created in previous tab. Also, all the, all the prices automatically calculated and the final amount is correct. From this tab, you can click Ctrl P. Here you can save this document as a PDF or print it out. What you might see, you might see the grid lines when you first time open this window. So to remove it, you can just uncheck the box next to show grid lines in formatting tab. Okay, let's go next. Now we have one more tab left, it's called sales. So the purpose of this tab is to add invoices and track the payments of our customers. Let me demonstrate how it works. So let's say we want to start from first. So what we are doing, we simply click invoicing, add invoice to sales table. And we can see that it appears here automatically. The cool part here is that we can track the payments of our customers if they're late or not. So let's let's change the due date to previous one. And we can see here that the status changed to overdue. And if customer has paid the, his invoice, so then we, we can change payment status to paid. And overdue sign is gone. So this allows us easily filter the customers who haven't paid on time and send them reminders, for example. 
Okay, good. One more thing to show. So when we add the invoice to the sales, we have this warning sign that tells us that the invoice number already taken and this will reduce the mistakes that we can make in our day-to-day -day job. We'll see this warning message in few more cases. Uh, for example, we forget to change the dates and the due date is passed. So it will show us that please check the invoice dates. Okay, and one more is when we have new invoice and there is no product. So it also will show that no products added for the invoice. So this means that there is no products with uh, ID number three. And we need to add it because the invoice will be empty. Finally, let me demonstrate to you how we can send emails directly from this document. Let's go back to our settings. Here we have few settings related to our templates. First, we need to create an account on template.com. This is the tool that allows us to dynamically change the data in our emails. For example, we can change the name to Anna here and we see that it automatically will be replaced. So with help of this tool, we will create our invoicing template and we will take data from our Google Sheets and replace the necessary parts of our invoice with the information from this spreadsheet. Okay, so what you need to do is start for free. I have mine already and just log in. Here you will see templates, so you need to add new template. I'll show you by editing existing one in my account. Here type any name you want. This will be visible only for you. Subject, we can add dynamic variables to the subject line. In our case we have word invoice, then it goes in invoice general formatted invoice number. So it will take the data from this part of our Google Sheets and it stands for and also the customer name will be placed instead of this variable. Next we have HTML. I'll put the link in the description so you can copy the HTML template and just paste it here. You don't need to change anything. It will automatically take all the necessary data from your Google Sheets. Okay, next just uh, leave this simple text empty and click save. In my case, it's update. Now we need, we need to go back to templates. Just copy the ID of our template and paste it in our settings next to template template ID like this. One more thing to do. We need to generate new token, so just go to tokens tab and click add new token and just copy the, the new token value and just paste it in your settings tab. Now we're good to go. We can send our emails to our customers with the invoices. To demonstrate you how it works, I will use a tool called temp mail. So it allows us to create a temporary email address that we can send message to and we'll see how it looks in our dummy inbox. I've already pasted this value next to our customers. Let's say we want to send this invoice to our customer. So we just click invoicing, send invoice email and, and you can see that it has arrived here. Here we can see the invoice number and our customer name. Next let's look at the invoice itself. So you can see that all the data was replaced from our Google Sheets and this is how our invoices look like. And basically that's it. As you can see, the invoicing system is really easy to use. And if you want to create same spreadsheet for your business, watch our future videos with step-by-step -step implementation instructions. In case you want to save time, you can purchase copy of this ready-to-use document the link will be in the description. You will get the copy of this document where you will be able to replace the information with your company, add your customers, add your products, and you will be ready to use this automated 
invoicing system. If you have any questions, just write your comments below. And if you think that this tool is helpful, please like this video and see you in the next course videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.